The way this conversation is going, it suggests that many of the metrics are um, imposed without perhaps as much discipline, um, mm. or perhaps they're imposed with a fair amount of discipline, but um, there's some amount of critique about their utility and or the seriousness with which yes, they're taken. Can I, can I share a small story? Mm -hmm. This to me, I guess, kind of opened my eyes to all this measurement stuff. Mm. and. I hope this sounds like a good story because it made a big impression on me. All right, so we, I was working at Rockefeller. We were doing our social investing. We had been doing it for a couple of years. We were at the point that we needed to measure. You know, we had thrown $25 million out the door. What did we have to show for it? Right, okay. <laughs> um, and so we, we got this, this team of, we had somebody who was a successful social entrepreneur. We had someone who was a um, academic and former foundation program officer. And then we got a social science researcher with a PhD, right? We, we forced them all to make a team because we thought they had a balance of skills and perspectives that would give us an excellent set of metrics. And one of the, one of the, um, the social ventures that we had supported was a, a software company founded by an artist who was, was at the Whitney and you know really he, he's a brilliant artist he's a brilliant technologist and he, this and the software company had grown out of one of his art projects and I won't try to describe it too much it's still the company still exists it's called Netomat you can check it out if you want to but his basic thesis was that not every idea can be reduced to a PowerPoint <laughs> so he was providing people other tools to be able to express themselves online besides just, you know, four bullets on a page, right? And I had a conversation with the social science researcher PhD member of the team. And we were talking about, you know, how to measure. And David's like, okay, well, we need a proxy mm -hmm. for, you know, to measure the value of Netomat. And um, so the proxy we're going to use is when carbon paper was introduced and how carbon paper boosted business efficiency and office productivity over just having a plain typewriter with no carbon paper. And I'm like, David, we didn't invest in the software company because we thought their software, although it can be used by businesses, we didn't invest <coughs> in it because we thought their software was going to be you know, this great business tool. We invested in the software because we thought it would facilitate collaboration, community, creativity, you know, and that, that this interaction among people and their ability to express themselves in better, new, and different ways would bring empowerment, engagement, and all kinds of other positive things, right? He's like, yeah, but we can't measure that. We can measure business productivity. I'm like, David, we don't care about that. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't force them to answer your business productivity questions and don't go looking up statistics from you know, the carbon paper age to create your proxy because you might be able to measure it, it's not meaningful to us. It's not what we want to know about. So, like, come up with a measure. Maybe it's qualitative. Maybe it's not, you know, as hard nailed down as your carbon paper proxy. But at least start to think about what we're, why we as a foundation invested in this opportunity, what we thought the potential was. That's what we want to try to measure on. Mm 